So people ask me that patients who don't respond to lutetia, will they respond to terpium? I don't know. We don't have any data which actually uh, says uh, or looks at patients who have not responded to lutetium and whether they have a enhanced response to terpium. The theoretical benefit is there. So there is a possibility that uh, patients who did not respond to lutetium or who had an inadequate response to lutetium or had a response to lutetium and are now progressing, they may have an advantage on giving terbium, uh, you know, instead of lutetium, but we still don't have the uh, data. The data that we 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 have and which comes from more from preclinical studies is that recurrence rates with terbium will probably be much lower than lutetium because of the ability of terbium to kill the single cells which are actually the residual cells which are responsible for recurrences so it may be a terbium versus lutetium as a first line rather than using terbium in patients who fail lutetium, which is going to be the protocol in the future. There is a large study which is happening in Australia called the Violet study. And that is being done by uh, Professor Michael Hoffman and his team. And they are doing a head-to-head -head, uh, comparison between terbium and lutetium. And their initial results are very encouraging. And their initial results are showing that terbium definitely has a much better efficacy as compared to lutetium. So who knows, maybe in the future, terbium is going to replace lutetium as a first-line therapy.